To be honest, I would rather not live than to live with low testosterone again. I've lived more than 10 years with basically no testosterone at all. And now I know life with high testosterone. It's night and day. Not even for a single week would I want to live with low testosterone again. Not even for 10 Gs would I live another week at 80 nanograms per deciliter. What's up folks, it's Uranus, we're in Brussels, welcome to another video. So today I will be answering to a question I'm receiving very regularly on YouTube and on Reddit and other social media. What would happen if someday I stop taking TRT or testosterone replacement therapy? By now I have been on hormones since the very end of 2014, so that's almost a decade. Is stopping still an option for me and what the hell would happen to my body and my mind? Well, let's find out. C'est parti! First of all, I really hope I will never be in this situation. As you guys might already know, I started hormonal replacement therapy at the age of almost 26 because my body cannot produce testosterone on its own. Before that, I had zero testicular testosterone production because my command center up here is down. Olympus has fallen. In other words, my pituitary gland just doesn't function properly because it was damaged at birth. PCT or post-cycle therapy drugs like Clomid or Nolvodex would never work on me because they require a functioning brain which unfortunately I do not have. So I have to replace what my body is incapable of naturally producing. Now granted there might be a little extra in there from time to time but I'm 100% honest on that topic. Now I shared a lot of videos regarding my hormonal journey and regarding my transformation and my medically induced purity starting at the age of 26 because like a transgender that therapy helped me to develop secondary sexual characteristics there's the deeper voice the adam's apple thing developed there's body hair facial hair my body composition completely changed too i developed my genitals thanks to the use of hcg i ejaculate i never thought i would say this in front of a camera but whatever now all of the changes that you just heard those are the secondary sexual characteristics those changes are permanent even if i stop trt and all of my treatments those changes will not reverse they are permanent my voice only dropped once i was 26 years old and i went from a high-pitched childlike voice to the voice that you're hearing now and people have been asking me if that would revert if i would stop taking testosterone replacement therapy and the answer is a uh, complete no once your voice drops it cannot go back to what it was before it was just it will stay just as low as it is right now now about facial hair and body hair it's the same thing too i would keep on making facial hair and body hair it might grow a little bit more slowly because of the drop in androgen production but just like in elderly people that have very little testosterone production it would still keep on growing i would still have a freaking beard now what would happen to my testosterone levels well they would go from slightly supraphysiological i always keep my total testosterone levels between 1000 and 1200 nanograms per deciliter well they would drop from that to what I had before, about 80 nanograms per deciliter. The only testosterone production that I would have in my body would come from my freaking adrenals since my testicles wouldn't work without a functioning pituitary gland. So before treatment, I had 80 nanograms per deciliter, which is incredibly low. And now I'm on testosterone enantat. So considering the half-life, it would take just about three weeks before my tanks are completely empty now what would happen physically first of all i would gradually lose muscle mass it took pretty much a decade to build this physique and i'm pretty sure it would only take a couple of months with extremely low testosterone even with training to see a significant regression in my physique i would also lose a lot of strength i would lose a lot of endurance i would have lower energy levels my body fat levels would go up more easily because of the drop in the metabolism my cock would go back to its primary functions of just being overall blood flow and vascularity would be a lot worse and last but not least i would probably develop osteoporosis again at 26 at the bones of a 70 year old i tested that by doing a couple of density scans and they confirmed i had severe osteoporosis and it took a while to get those levels back to normal and that would probably happen again if i didn't have any testosterone 
in my body. In other words, physically it would severely suck, but the worst part would be up here. I would probably fall into severe depression again, just like I was before, because proper testosterone levels are super important for your mood and your confidence as a man. My libido would completely tank, I would have nothing left in there, and I would probably also lose a lot of energy and mental sharpness. Not that I'm very sharp these days, I think I have an average caffeine consumption of five or 600 milligrams per day, easily anyway i would i would have a general lack of punch in my life and mentally i would really go down to be honest i would rather not live than to live with low testosterone again i've lived more than 10 years with basically no testosterone at all and now i know life with high testosterone it's night and day not even for a single week would i want to live with low testosterone again not even for 10 g's would i live another week at 80 nanograms per deciliter the thing is, most people only think about testosterone and about total testosterone and testosterone and so on. But you need to take a much deeper approach than that. First of all, testosterone converts into estrogen through aromatization. You need estrogen as a man, 100%. If you ever have anybody tell you that estrogen is only relevant for a woman, please get away from that person because you are losing intelligence just by standing next to it. Then secondly, testosterone also converts into DHT or dehydrotestosterone. You also need that other hormone. So if you have zero testosterone, you will also not have enough estrogen and not have enough DHT. Now those are only two examples. Then there's also the neurosteroids that you need to actually make your brain happy from time to time too. I knew from the start that treatment would be for life for me and I was fine with that because people like me, we need treatment to actually freaking live. Remember, my command center up here is down. The only good thing about stopping testosterone replacement therapy would be that I would no longer have to take finasteride. Finasteride is an anti-hair loss drug and it's actually a pretty shit drug with a lot of side effects but I do have male pattern baldness in the family. So I hope that answers the question and I really hope I never have to be in that situation because with how it's going in Europe right now, you never freaking know. And I already had major supply issues in the past. That's, that's why right now I'm always keeping at least one year of TRT at home. I'm still planning on keeping on living a couple of more years and TRT will always be there with me. Anyway, ending it here. Thank you guys for watching. Now kindly do the YouTube things, like, subscribe, leave me a comment and I'll catch you on the next one. Uranus out.